To say the excitement surrounding Star Wars announcement is on the downslope, on the decline, would be an understatement, a gross understatement of the obvious. And yet here we are, just a day ago, from Collider, upcoming Star Wars films get new release dates. Things get pushed back or just canceled altogether as far as I know. But the wait continues and continues and continues, hopefully Kathleen Kennedy, until after she retires. That would be great. But wait continues for the franchise's return to the big screen. Oh my goodness, we can't wait. Well, I'm not going to speak for anyone but myself, but aren't, I'm just so excited to see Ray back on the big screen. Aren't you? Disney has released a series of updated release dates for their upcoming slate of feature films in the Star Wars franchise, at least until they cancel them again. Stories set a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away have been resigned to the small screen in recent time with the budget of a CW series. But the House of Mouse announced the return of Star Wars to the big screen earlier this year. An untitled Star Wars, untitled Star Wars movie. Not Rogue Squadron, that got canceled. Movie previously dated December 19th, 2025, has been shifted back to May 22nd, 2026, three years from now. Now, that might actually be a good thing. People will forget the abomination that was the Disney trilogy. An additional untitled Star Wars film project has been added, set for release on December 18th, 2026. Two Star Wars movies will grace the cinema in a single year. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see. Disney already has a separate untitled Star Wars. We got a bunch of untitled Star Wars projects set for December 17th, 2027, a year later. Specific details for each release are unknown, but a slew of new feature films within the Star Wars canon were announced at Star Wars Celebration 2023. Filmmakers James Mangold, James Mangold Dave Filoni, and Charmin Obeid Chinoy will each be getting their hands on a Star Wars feature. Taika Waititi has also had a Star Wars movie in development for some considerable time. What about Ryan Johnson? What about him? He's supposed to be getting a Star Wars trilogy. Right? It's still in the works. It's still in development. Please, God, say no. Uh, James Mangold, Dave Filoni. Ah, uh, of course, Dave Filoni. He's got a good track record. When was the last film released? Oh, that would be the atrocity that was The Rise of Palpatine in 2019. We haven't seen Star Wars on the big screen for almost four years. The last attempt from Disney to wow the fans was a complete and total failure. The film saw middling reviews, because it was terrible, and couldn't match box office highs of the franchise comeback of The Force Awakens, which made over $2 billion because people were excited to see where Star Wars was going to go. And once they saw where it was going to go, well, people lost interest. And the next movie made one point... Hmm, did it break two billion? I know the last movie broke a billion, barely. Lack of interest in where Disney was taking the product. Now, I'm not saying you can't like the abomination that was Obi-Wan or... Let's see, hmm... Boba, the Book of Boba Fett and the shiny brand new Vespas on a desert planet. Or The Mandalorian. You can like those. But more and more people have been tuning out. The unfortunate case of Andor was the best Disney Star Wars that nobody watched. Oh, Disney has been focusing on the small screen via their Disney Plus streaming service. Give out the numbers. With shows such as The Mandalorian, Obi-Wan Kenobi that never should have been made, and Andor. Go watch it. As the wait for more Star Wars feature films continues, Disney continues to produce content on the small screen. Next up is Ahsoka, which I know quite a few of my friends are actually looking forward to it. I'm going to check it out. Comes to Disney Plus on August 1st, 2023. Are you looking forward to it? But as far as what else has been coming out, all these announcements and release dates, and we've seen it before, but unfortunately... Screen Rant made a little article of every unmade and canceled Star Wars movie and TV show. Don't care why they didn't happen, because they just didn't happen. Now, some of these, I saw a list earlier. They're going to be changes in director and changes in story and rewrites and all this other stuff. But there are a few of them that were announced at one Star Wars celebration or another that just kind of disappeared. Nobody talked about. Nobody did anything with them. Boba Fett was supposed to get his own movie. He got a TV series. Obi-Wan was supposed to get a movie. A trilogy of movies, but they took one movie and spread it out over six episodes that never should have been, should have stuck with the movie. George Lucas, yeah, that's not what we're talking about. 
Oh, Colin Trevorrow. He got fired. Let's see. Original Star Wars prequels. What are you trying to say? Those were made. Some people even like them. Boba Fett solo Star Wars movie. They turned that into a Disney Plus show. Moss Eisley Spaceport movie. That was something that was announced? Who would watch that? Splinter of the Mind's Eye. That was the first book that my brother ever picked up for Star Wars. And it's something I had always meant to read, but never got around to it. What else? Don't know who these guys are. Dave Benioff? D.B. Wise? Star Wars Trilogy? Huh. Game of Thrones show. Oh, double Ds. Oh, no. Don't let them touch Star Wars. Ever. Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron. This would have been a fantastic story, but apparently there were creative differences between her and Kathleen Kennedy. That got canceled. Announced, but canceled. Kevin Feige, Feige's Star Wars movie. Announced, put on the wayside. Canceled. Damon Lindelof's Ray Skywalker film. Please, God, no. Don't do that. Star Wars Underworld. Announced and canceled. What else we got here? Rangers of the New Republic. Announced and canceled. We miss you, Cardoon. But with all these announcements and cancellations and announcements, they don't even mention Ryan Johnson's trilogy in here. I wonder why that is. Are you looking forward to more Star Wars movies? Do you think the delay three years from now until the next movie will help the box office? Do you think people will forget the atrocity that was the Disney trilogy? Are you looking forward to the announced could possibly be canceled, wouldn't surprise me. Race Palpatine sit trilogy from Disney. Kathleen Kennedy announced it at the last Star Wars celebration. Aren't you excited? I know I'm not, but let me know what you think in the comments. How many of these announced Star Wars projects, movies are going to be delayed, canceled, actually released? Will they be good? The only time will tell. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. I'm going to stop repeating myself. Have a good one.